Apple for more. I'm joined in studio now by France 24 journalist Taizi Parenti. Taizi, the internet has been buzzing all day today with speculation over who this anonymous author may be. Lots of fingers pointing at the vice president. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. This is one of the most discussed, discussed subjects on Twitter right now in the United States. And it comes amid, as you said before, an uncomfortable situation with the Woodward book. So social media users are trying to are combing through that op-ed, trying to find clues as to who wrote it. And there's much speculation that actually comes because of one word, which is when describing John McCain, the anonymous author said, but we will always have his example, a lodestar for restoring honor to public life in our national dialogue. And I think we can agree that lodestar is not really a word that we use usually in life. So um, people are actually saying since there is actually one person who uses that word very much, and that is Mike Pence, as you said. Um, could Pence be behind these, uh, this highly critical and damaging op-ed? Or maybe was it someone trying to pass uh, by him, because since he's the one who uses that word so much, he has already denied any relation, any connection to the op-ed. So the question that remains are, the questions that remain are, who wrote it, why now, and what consequences will it have? Well, on that fact that it is anonymous, that's something that Donald Trump has been complaining about today. But then his critics are saying that that's actually slightly hypocritical given his track record. Exactly. Uh, this morning, President Trump lashed out on Twitter as usual, uh, questioning if this senior administration official really exists and telling The New York Times to reveal their sources as a matter of national security. But uh, Twitter users are questioning if uh, Trump's own relationship with anonymity all through his presidential campaign. He mentioned anonymous sources whenever he wanted to talk about figures or uh, whenever he wanted to tell a story. For example, he talked about his friend Jim, who is nowhere to be found, and the White House, the White House hasn't really denied if he exists or not. People are questioning. Um, he also, in 2012, even, he tweeted that an extremely credible source had told him that Barack Obama's birth certificate was a fraud, which was very grave. And even before that, he always, uh, he has, uh, per, for example, pretending to be his own fake PR guy, uh, John Barron, in the 80s, and he has used alias aliases such as John Miller in the 90s to pass information to the press. More recently, David Dennison, a name that appears in the Stormy Daniels case. So as we can see, I think it's fair to say that Donald Trump's uh, relationship with anonymity is somewhat ambivalent. Okay, thank you so much for joining us with that. Uh, that's Tizi Parenti, France 24 journalist.